your host, Tom Dorado. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Pat Jones Show. Oklahoma State traveled to the Valley of the Sun this past weekend to take on the Arizona State Sun Devils. Lost a 12-10 heartbreaker out there. Pat, you said all week long it would be a tough, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. You were right on the money. The game took place, which we'll see, about like what we thought. I don't think there was a great deal of difference in either club. I think, unfortunately for us, they were a little bit more mature in certain instances. It held their poise a little bit better. Uh, but it was certainly a game that could have gone either way. We went a, a, a little ways toward answering some questions about this club. It's the first time we'd ever been behind. We responded, caught back up. But as we'll see through the course of this, there were just enough things on the downside of it to keep you from winning a close ball game against somebody that's a pretty good football team. Not great, again, not, not a lot of difference from us, but a team that will have a chance in Arizona State to go ahead and win some games in that league, I would imagine. Well, the defense is indeed dictated tempo early on. Yards were tough to come by. We'll take a look at first half highlights when we return to the Pat Jones Show. Well, Pat, it was relatively pleasant out there at Tempe, Arizona. Really, the heat was not a great factor involved, I think, for either club. It affected us defensively a little bit, I thought, late in the ballgame, and I think it did Arizona State somewhat. We were anxious to play. Arizona State was coming off the loss to Louisville. They were anxious to get it on, and we won the toss, selected to defer the decision to the second half. Scott Tyner hit the ball in the end zone. They mishandled it and down it. Neither offensive club got a lot going. Defensively, we played well. They played well. They had tried to establish a running game, which we felt like they were going to. Okay, second play of the ball game. Try to go deep. We have it covered. Scotty Harmon, nice interception. So we've got pretty good field position at, uh, around, around midfield. Offensively, we go out. You can see we're running some motion. Uh, here's Boogie Johnson. We used a little bit of uh, unbalanced uh, offense in the formations. Uh, gave us a few plays. Quick screen to Denson. We hit it several times. Mm -hmm. He had a very big night. He and Shannon Culver, other wide receiver, productivity-wise, one of the better nights they've had. You can see Gary uh, Porter faking away, throwing the ball back. Culver's going to get a pretty good block. Mm -hmm. Denson gets outside of him here. Play was good to us all. Yeah, it was because they were they were allowing us coverage-wise to do some things where we felt like we could get the ball out there quickly. But uh, perpetually, as we have always mentioned, we're trying to find ways to get Denson the ball in his hands. Here we run the sweep to Boogie Johnson. Fullback got knocked off track, not much here. So we got the ball in fairly good field position. Porter coming out here on the sprint pass. They scraped off the backside linebacker. He got in Gary's face a little bit. We overthrew it. Here's the third down plate. Now he's going back and, and throwing threw the ball back inside. They traditionally play a lot of man-to-man -man coverage, which we knew, which is you have to be pretty precise in your throwing and catching. Pop kick here, trying to kick the ball out of bounds. Their kid did a nice job of coming up and catching the thing. Uh, and got a little bit of yardage on it, so now Arizona State has got it backed up again. Uh, nothing much going. You can see we're swarming the ball pretty well. We're into a field position battle now, are we? Well, not? it really was. That's exactly right. It was kind of one of those classic duels where we kept them bottled up. Uh, from Again, from the downside of our standpoint, we had the ball around midfield, could not get any points out of it. Link Harden, uh, Jason Gild, and those people, now they've got it backed up here. Here he is going back to throw. Those little out routes, you can see we've got people around him here. They did get over the top of us once later on. We actually had a pretty good crowd there, sure Tom. Did. I thought we did. We had, I was really proud of it because we could hear those guys. Okay, here's Porter coming out on a bootleg, throws back across the field. Shannon Culver, and Culver almost comes out of this. A big gain here. That was about a 35-yard gain. They repeat, <coughs> excuse me, of the same play. Porter coming out on the naked. Good play action. Arizona State will pressure you quite a bit on defense. Gary gets outside of them here. Nice throw on the run. They had the, the tight end covered. Uh, Culver did a good job, come back, good job of spinning out of this. He has this one, we'll see it later on. He makes the big catch and run that gets us a, uh, and puts us in position for a touchdown later on. But we can see we've got the ball over here. Pretty good shape. They never particularly early on gave us much running room with the fullbacks. Turn around and pitch it to Denson. Couldn't get their end down. Again, Arizona State has got a pretty good defensive football team. I, there's, we're going to see some better as that scrape linebacker again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, we'll see better, but it's pretty good. So now here again, we come, punt the ball off down on their end of the field. 
gets in the end zone, but they're still going to have a long way to go. So we're continuing to keep them bottled up here a little bit. Neither team could move uh, in, in a possession the rest of the quarter. Now we're in second quarter action. Well, between Bates and, and, and Montgomery, the two backs, they've got a decent combination. You can see they're really not making dramatic yards, although they just keep on firing them away at us, running the sweeps and the counters and classic I formation plays. A lot of guys around the football. Well, yes, there is. And, and you got to give the Arizona State backs credit here. We stop them, forces a punt. So they're starting to gain a little bit of edge here on this. Is this the one we yes, fumbled? Sure okay, is. Delvin Miles fumbles here. This is where we kind of lost the field position battle right now. So we, we do stop them. They don't get any points out of this. Try to go deep. Actually kind of got in behind us a little bit, and we knocked them away at the last moment. Good stand defensively here. We've just fumbled a punt. They try to run a sweep and don't get anything. Where this cost us certainly, again, is back to the field position battle. We had field position early on. Now we've got them covered. Benton, their quarterback, comes out, scrambles, throws the ball away. They're going to come in, try a long field goal uh, that he hit pretty good. Uh, barely missed, but defensively we've held. Turned that momentum away right off the bat. Well, it did, but now we've got to start out backed up as opposed to working around midfield. Boogie Johnson, not much. Arizona State's getting around the ball well. Okay, Tony Jones in a quarterback. Deal it right here. Here we go now. We're, we're cooking pretty good. Boogie Johnson got it. We inserted Tony Jones. Uh, it's good second uh, repeat of the same play. Tony comes off, deals the ball to Boogie. We hit a crack, and Boogie is, uh, we got a nice first down. They were allowing, or not allowing us, but some of what they lined up in gave us a chance on some option stuff, nothing with Boogie. Tony came in and really sparked us here again. He almost came out of this. Yeah. Almost, and there was nothing in front of him right there. One guy, number eight, had an angle, but Tony is getting better. We, now, big third down play, we stumbled here, but at least we've hacked out a couple of first downs. Scott Tyner punts them back down here. They try to field the ball inside their 10-yard line. So now we've taken back over on the field position battle. Hang it away. We're, we're seeing most of this football game here with the highlights. It's pretty much intact. Good job, Cleavon Williams, Jason Gilden. Defense, I, statistically, I think in the first quarter, neither team had much to speak of offensively. Really in the first half, I don't think there was a great deal of offense. Good job, Lorenzo Green, 98 around the ball. Like two fighters just going at each other. Well, it really was. They hit this pass on third down to give them a first down. Aside from the one time they got over the top of us, they, and then overthrew a halfback pass later on. Here's a screen that they get outside, barely do pick up a first down. But you never really had to, uh, uh, they went for it on fourth, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Fourth and inches. Fourth right. and inches, sneak mm -hmm. it, make it. But you really, we felt like we pretty much kept their throwing game contained with the exception of that one right there. They, they got inside of our cornerback, uh, the particular coverage we were in, he has to keep the guy to the outside, didn't. David Thompson's in the ball game, number 28. This is encouraging here. Okay, Tony, come back on a quick screen to Denson. Denson makes a, jukes the guy here, gets loose down the sideline, he makes a first down. This is a big drive to answer that score. Well, it really is. This is the first time, Tom, interestingly enough, this football team of ours has been behind all season long, and they come out and counter it. Tony Jones to Shannon Culver. He's off to the races. Gets right down inside the five-yard line. Great job, Shannon Culver. Tony Jones, here's the same play. You can see Tony coming out on the sprint out pass. And if people think he cannot throw the ball, he's got a nice smooth motion right here, guns this ball into Culver. Culver did a nice job against their man-to-man -man coverage and comes back in. Now he's off to the races down the field. This did spark us. This was very interesting. This is where I think, Tom, we've started finding out a few things about this club, that we did respond. We were on the road. We were against a good defensive unit. Don't block behind the ball, David Thompson. But here's the, this is actually a third down play. We'd run up inside, hadn't gotten much. Tony Jones comes out on the option. Scores, here's his buddy Lewis Adams, two true freshmen celebrating the end zone in Tempe. Lawson Vaughn comes in and kicks it through. It's now tied at seven. Uh, they come back, there is some time left here. This is not just right, right at the final seconds. Two minutes, right. About two minutes left, right? They overthrow, come out, run the draw, fumble. This, oh, this is a big place. Yeah. don't do this. Javon Langford, 89, a true freshman a defensive end. He probably thought it was pro rules. He just fell on the guy like he's seen that on pro ball, thought you could do it. At least, see, they, they were, we had them stop there. We would probably had a chance to get the ball back. Do stop them. It's tied at seven and a half, seven, seven and a half. We go in feeling like we know it's going to be a ball game and we've got our work cut out. I would think the message in both dressing rooms probably would have been the same. Hey, we're right in there defensively. Now let's just try to make something happen in the second well, half. Well, that's exactly right. We, we're both, like I say, kind of sparring around with each other, battle of field position. Whoever can surrender a break, the, the, uh, or take advantage of a break is probably going to win the thing, and ultimately they do. Well, it's a heck of a second half. Indeed it is, and we've got those second half highlights. Stay with us. We'll be back to the Pat Jones Show after this timeout. 
Well, we're tied 7-7 at halftime, and Pat, a scary moment to open the second half. Well, we, we get the, it's our decision, we take the ball, they kick off to us, Delvin Miles, who's back with Rafael Denson, Denson actually returns this, Delvin Miles is going to be the lead blocker and, and kind of gets mauled up in this wedge, and it stays down for a pretty good while, you can see him on the ground, but he's, really, he's okay, they had a, got a shot in the back, and he, he's actually gone. He's all right. He'll hopefully be able to play next week, but it was a little bit scary and fairly dramatic. You can see Denson getting loose now. Now, they get called for a personal foul here. Good call. Denson on the same quick screen. Uh, okay, you can see Boogie Johnson again. Good positive yardage. Here, Here's Tony coming out, giving the ball off to Joe Jefferson. Make a nice little well, cut in here. He stresses that defense on the ends, doesn't he? Yes, not? he does. And, and what we started seeing when, when we – when Tony hit a broken option, of course they stop us, but we do get the first downs put them mm -hmm. down. When Tony hit a couple of uh, plays on the outside, it started opening up a little bit of the fullback stuff on the off tackle. They come back, run to Arizona State, run the draw play, Gildon bounces up, but we still got lots of people. Around you can see 98, uh, Lorenzo Green, I thought Lorenzo played well, I thought really our interior people. Link Harden missing, but he stays after him. Kid gets the ball off, that was not complete here, but we can see good pressure. Ran a little stunt right here. Okay, that was, I'm sorry, different play. Richie Ainsley, right good here. tackle right there. Do not make the first down. You have to punt, and we'll take over on the 33. Tony coming out on the sprint out pass. Here he uh, throws, did a nice job of not trying to, th of the only place it could either have been caught or out of bounds, he threw it. Here's Boogie Johnson on a counter play. Not a whole lot going. You got to give them credit. Watch this right here. Little flood pass with Denson coming in in boomerang or yo-yo motion. Now he gets out here in the open field, and I thought he was going to go score. If we could have gotten that guy knocked down, it probably would, and their pursuit catches him from the backside. But we have certainly responded ourselves and come out with Rafael. Same play again. You can see Tony coming out on the flood, does a nice job. Nice throw, good job of Denson getting it caught. Fairly simple stuff, but these are the things and ways that we need to be able to get the ball to Denson. He certainly gets in the open field. And, and, and give people a thrill. There's Boogie Johnson blocking down there. So we've got it on, on their end. The downside of it is obviously we don't get a touchdown. We get a field goal. Okay, here's Boogie running inside. Arizona State's going to stiffen and hold. See, we get a penalty yeah. right in here, I, uh, uh, which we were just a little bit more ragged on these sorts of things. Dealing to Boogie, we hit a crack right here from over there where we were standing. It looked like he might have a chance nice to score. Nice acceleration. Yeah, huh? this is a big play. We try to run the trap and get completely mauled, don't make anything. Now come in and Lawson kicks the field goal through where it was third in, in the yard. If you make a first, obviously if the old cliches about ifs and buts and all that kind of stuff, but okay, Arizona State, we kick off. They've got, they get a little bit of a drive going mm -hmm. here. Defensively, we had to play a lot of snaps on the same hand. I think as it ended up, it was, it was def defensively, we created some of those problems by a couple of silly penalties, which kept us out on the field a little bit longer. Here's Javon Langford. Oh, now here's another one here. This doggone it. I, it. Just get away from the guy. Well, he doesn't think he's done anything, but they called it, so it did. You just you don't want to run the risk of even getting around the court. But that was a, a big play right there when they, they do it on Langford. He didn't do anything malicious. Just kind of got up on the guy, and the kid fell down. Now they call it. They'll throw, try to hit us deep. We bat it away. Good job. G2 Criddle, number 26, played. Played pretty well. Try to run the draw play, nothing going. Keith Burns, Burns played well. Mm -hmm. See, here's, here's Gildon coming right now. Big Kelvin Ingram's got 99, is gonna make a play right in here. I thought he was gonna fumble it right there. Well, it looked like we almost had it knocked out. Now they come in and kick this, how long was this? That was this? a 49 yard 49 field goal. 49 yards, barely that's, I know it. The kid hit it good, now it's tied at 10 into the third quarter. Certainly we know we've got a ball game on our hands, both ourselves. And, all right, now, we're, now they've punted us down there. We're fixing to see the safety here in just a second. All right, we, See, the tailback, Lewis Adams, actually heard something wrong. He was running like it was a sweep. We had an off-tackle play called. So Tony came back. This is tough duty, obviously. True freshman quarterback, true freshman tailback. The tailback busted. Tony had to take sack. Now they're hitting. Yes. Watch this, though. Tyner comes in and on the free kick just kills this ball. Tyner kicks yards. it 80 yards. Mercy. They mishandle it <laughs> right on the one. So we've really we've got field position back, but good job of Scott Tyner. This is still very, very much a ball game to this point. Turn around and run the sweep. Good job, fellas. Richie Ainsley, Keith Burns. He goes back and tries a little screen here. Jason Gildon batted down, almost intercepted this ball. Now they come out and he scrambles. This a big play right here. Ainsley gets him wrapped up. Throws him out of bounds. Now, here's where, like I say, Richie, who, who I've got as much respect for as anybody around, this is where you got to play with emotion, but you can't get intoxicated by it. Mm -hmm. This is the things that you tell guys. We just got to have better poise than that. They called a 15-yarder on us. That was third and 14, or we're going to get the ball back. 
So we just got to keep our poise better than that. Anyway, they get the ball back and start banging out some time. They're eating the clock up. Here he comes back, has nowhere to throw the ball, starts scrambling around. This is, this is a nice throw and catch on their part. Finally does find a guy, hits him out to midfield. Turn around and run the sweep, and they drop the ball, take a big loss right here. Right for so, get on it. We stop them, but we didn't stop them down there uh, quick enough. So, so now we're going to get the doggone ball back. Uh, how much time is left now? 7.59. See, there's, still, there's still a lot of time left, although certainly we've got a long way to go. Now watch this. He almost comes mm -hmm. out. This is where he's really starting to run with some authority right in there. Nine or eight or nine yards. So now we come back, uh, give the ball off, another phase of the option to Joe Jefferson. Here it is, and he, he makes a nice run. See, we're cooking here. It looks like it, this is where I think we grew up offensively. Okay, now he pitches ball. This is David Thompson again. Mm -hmm. This is again freshman and true freshman and true freshman. Okay, gives the ball off on the trap. Not much. Right in. Okay, here, though, see this was third and uh, uh, two right here. We jump. We flinch. Now it comes out and it's third and seven. He stumbles a little bit on the option. They hit us. We were going to use two downs to pick it up before. Now it's fourth down and five or six and more than you got to do. Still, there's still quite a bit of time. How much time's left? Now, right now, 447 See, when they start. There's a lot of time left. If we stop them here, we're going to get it back. Good play, Keith Burns. And they come back and run the counter play. Good job again defensively. See, we're still hustling. We're, we're competing really hard in here. Now, they break this draw and he jumps in behind somebody. We had a stunt. And they, you got to give them credit. They just weasel around and pick up the first down. Two plays later, another big third down. Play. See, they're just banging it out. They're just barely making first downs, but they're keeping our offense off the field. When when we had a little bit of a chance, we got a little bit ragged with our tackling here. I think we were a little bit tired. So were they. Now there's just ten seconds. Ten seconds left in the game. They come and punt. Scotty Harmon gets it. Doesn't get anything. We come out and actually have a chance right here if Gary could hit this route on the sideline, throw it over Culver unrealistically to think you've got a real chance to win it, but we had some kinds of Now, we start to, we're going to try to start ladder on the ball around and, and do some of this stuff, just last gaff sort of thing. Tough ball game. Uh, could have gone either way. Uh, certainly wish we could have won it. Think we learned some things about our team. As we look at this game in the numbers category, the numbers of note, you have to look at penalties, number one, 70 yards of penalties the Cowboys had. Well, again, we've got to, some of those you're just going to get, right. certainly. But where I think we had them at very, very crucial times. Mm -hmm. Some of them had to do, again, with poison. So we coach guys hard to, to, to be emotional, to play the game. That's where you got to play the game. You just got to be a little bit more poised about certain things. Uh, which which we'll, we got some intelligent guys. They'll get to, we'll get better at that. Uh, Tony Jones, good effort, four or five, 121 yards to the uh, year. Again, we'll continue to alternate the guys in practice now and see who, and, and hopefully prepare them both to play. Uh, who hit Burns, 18 yeah. tackles. Well, Keith, who can play better, but he shows up all over the doggone place. Defensively, can't fault us a heck of a lot. We had to play a lot of plays, but, but we expect a lot out of this defense. Well, it'll be nice to get home this week, and it will be a home game finally. Cowboys home Saturday afternoon to take on TCU. We're going to take a look at that game when we return to the Pat Jones Show. Well, after two weeks on the road, the Cowboys are back home on Saturday afternoon, 2 o'clock, take on TCU. And, Pat, the fourth game of a four-year contract with TCU, and the first three have been down to the wire. Gosh, last year we lost one down there, 13-11, to 11, which was obviously extremely, extremely close. year before that up here, the game ends. We're on their one-yard mm -hmm. line. Down there three years ago, it's going to be a tie game down into the final seconds, and we fumble one, let them do it. But, again, it's our final non-conference game here. We've still got our home winning streak intact. We're still in the stage of which I think most football teams are, is just trying to continue to get better, have good practice. We're still tinkering with some of our personnel. And like I say, back at home, we'll have a good crowd. And I'd like to think that our fans are excited about this club. I think they are. We haven't lost one at home right. going back to two years ago. So again, TCU one and two, they lost to SMU here the other evening. We've got two and one with our final line conference game, have got a chance to, to for both clubs. This has been a very, very important ball game. And of course, our kids have a great matter of pride. It's, it is a matter of pride in keeping this home unbeaten streak going. Well, it is. This club is still continuing to build upon things. and That we got started a year ago. We won the home opener here. We won at Tulsa. So, yes, we've got some things to play for. Well, tickets indeed are still available for the game. We hope to see you at Lewis Field. Two o'clock kickoff, Oklahoma State and TCU. We'll see you back here next week. For Pat Jones at Oklahoma State University, this is Tom Dorado. Goodbye, everybody.